I'm going to show you how to set up tail scale on PFSense. So if you have a PFSense router at home or even in your office and you'd like to be able to use it as an exit node. So if you're away from the office and in a coffee shop, for example, and you'd like to route your traffic through your PFSense router, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll also show you how to expose the subnets behind PFSense. So that if you are away from the office or your home, that you can access devices on the LAN behind PFSense from any device that you have connected to your telnet. Sheridan Computers, IT, Communications, Support. We logged into PFSense. So obviously the first thing that we're going to need to do is install the Tailscale package. When it's installed, Tailscale will appear under the VPN option up here. Uh, as you can see, we don't have it yet, so we need to install it. So head over to System, uh, Package Manager, then we've got install packages and available. So we want to click available packages. Search for tail scale. Uh, and the tail scale package has appeared. So we've got package version 0 0.14, which is the tail scale 1.54 package. Um, that's quite an old one. But once we've got that, go ahead and click install. And then confirm. So once we get the uh, success, and this bar here has gone green, uh, it's installed. So now if we go up to VPN, we can see the tail scale option. Um, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is obviously go to authentication tab. Now for the login server, You'll usually want to leave this as controlplane.tailscale.com unless you're using something like a self-hosted version of Headscale. So I'll just leave that as it is. We've got this pre-authentication key field. So we're going to need to go to the uh, Tailscale portal and create a pre-authentication key. So let's do that. In the Tailscale portal, we need to go to Settings. And once we're in Settings, on the left-hand side, we've got Keys, which we need to go ahead and select. Uh, and then we've got off keys. So we need to uh, go ahead and click generate off key. So give it a description. So I'm just going to call this PFSense. We don't want it to be reusable. So when you're creating keys, you generally don't want them to um, be reusable on more than one device. So go ahead and ensure that this reusable is set to off. Let's uh, off, sorry. The key expiration, we can leave that for the time being. Um, <clears throat> down here, we want uh, so devices authenticated by this key will aut automatically be removed after going offline. So the uh, ephemeral tag option, we want to uh, make sure that's not enabled. Otherwise, when you uh, restart PFSense or shut it down, it will get removed from Tailscale. Tags, we don't need to worry about that just yet. And then we'll go ahead and click Generate Key. So now we've generated the new key. We can go ahead and there's a icon here to copy it. So we can copy the key. Um, and now it does say, be sure to copy your new key below. It won't be shown in full again. We're just going to copy to clipboard and then we'll go back into PFSense. And I'm just going to paste the pre-authentication fee into the field, like so. And then we'll hit save. So you'll notice it still says it's not enabled. So we need to go into settings. Enable. And then hit save. Uh, scroll down and hit save. Uh status page so now it's online as you can see okay so let's go through some of the settings under authentication i've gone through the login server and the pre-authentication key and this logout and clean will basically uh, flush the local state cache uh, and log out from tail scale so if you hit that you will be logged out let's have a look at some of the settings that we've got so we've got whether it's enabled, the port to listen on, the state directory, you're probably not going to need to worry about this, 
whether to keep the configuration. So if that's ticked and you remove the plugin and you reinstall it, it will keep its configuration. If you untick it and you remove the plugin, it will remove the configuration. So then we've got accept DNS. So whether or not to accept DNS configuration from the control server. Then we've got exit node, whether you want to be an exit node, subnet routes that you want to advertise. Uh, and then we've got these syslog settings down here. So let's just uh, quickly head over to the Tailscale portal. Now if we go to machines, you can see that we have indeed got our RPF sense server. I'm just going to rename this. Machine settings, edit machine name, and I'm just going to call this PF sense. If you edit the machine name, it makes it easier to appear in the status. Otherwise, you might get confused if you're using mobile phones. Some of the peers show up as local hosts, for example. Um, so back to machines. So we've got our PF sense. So we want to, uh, we've got Tailscale installed, but now we want to use PF sense as our gateway. How do we do that? Well, let's head up back over to uh, PF sense and do that real quick. So under the settings, if we scroll down to routing, we have this option for advertise as exit nodes or offer to be an exit node for outbound internet traffic from the Tailscale network. So we want to tick that and then proceed on save. So that's now done. Uh, but in order to actually use PF sense as an exit node, we need to authorize it within the Tailscale portal. So let's go and do that. So now you can see it here that the machine is showing, PFSense is showing as an exit node. So that's pretty much instant. Um, but it says the machine is requesting to be used as an, as an exit node. But you need to review this under edit route settings in the machine's menu. So let's go into the machine. And if we scroll down under the route settings, we have awaiting approval for exit node. So if we go ahead and edit that, uh, and then under exit node, allow your network to route internet, internet traffic through this machine. Tick use exit node and then save. So that's now allowed. Go back to machines. And we can see that that indeed is our exit node. Uh, how can we test this? I'll have to install it on a mobile phone. So let's go ahead and do that. So setting um, tail scale up on Android can be problematic if you're using a GitHub account as I am uh, to sign in with for the multi-factor authentication. Unless it's me being stupid, I can't get it to work. So I'm going to log in with Firefox first. Okay. So I'm logged in now using Firefox. Um, and I'm going to have to add this device. So what I'm going to do is go to settings. And I'm going to go and find the keys again. My keys. And I'm going to generate an off key. So this is going to be mobile phone. Again, we don't want reusable on or anything else, we're just going to leave that as it is. I'm going to do generate key. I'm going to copy that key. This is ridiculous that you have to do this, but it is what it is. I'm going to go back into tail scale and then I'm going to go to settings, accounts. I'm going to do, go back up there and select the dots and I want use off key. Then I'm going to paste my authentication key and add account. So, okay, now that's fine. So now we can see my mobile phone um, and we can see PFSense. So if I want to use PFSense as an exit node, PFSense, sorry, um, just choose exit node. I'm going to select PFSense. So now 
That should be using PF sensors exit node. If I go back into Firefox and I do if config dot io. Okay, so um, we are indeed using Tailscale as the exit node. That is the IP address of our system. So that's basically how you set up Tailscale as an exit node with a mobile phone. The last thing that you're going to want to do at this point is if we go back to Tailscale, um, PF Sense, we need to do, if we go over to click the three dots at the side of the machine and we want disable key expiry and the same for the Android I'm just going to do disable key expiry so obviously you need to disable the key, key expiry otherwise it will expire within 90 days and neither PF Sense nor your mobile will be able to access your tailnet So I'm just going to nip back to PF Sense. Um, as we've shown you now, um, that's perfectly working. If you've got a PF Sense system, you can uh, use it as an exit node for your mobile phone. So if you're in a coffee shop or whatever, um, and you want a VPN that connects back to your house, your office, or whatever, you can now do that. So while we're here, uh, if you want to be able to access devices behind pf sense you're going to need to advertise the um, lan so if i go to interfaces and lan this is on 192.168.1 so i'm just going to go back into vpn tail scale and settings so this advertise routes um this is where you can put your lan address in if you need to access devices on VLANs, you can put them addresses in. So what we do is put 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24. Uh, and make sure that your subnet obviously ends in the zero. Uh, put allow tailnet to access LAN. So now if we save that, go back over to... Uh, our tail, tail scale dashboard we can now see we've got this subnet so this machine has unapproved routes review from edit route settings so again if we go into the machine and then we've got subnets so we can see that we've got no subnets approved um, but we can see awaiting approval 192.168.1.0 so if we click on edit The edit routes, route settings of PF sensor pairs. Connect to devices you can't install Tailscale on by advertising the IP ranges as subnets. So if I select that subnet and click save, so you can see that it's now approved. Um, and if I go back into all machines, we've no exclamations or anything, so we've got the expired, the, uh, expiry disabled we've got subnets so we can access the LAN etc that's behind PF sense and we've got the exit node so that should be what you all you need to do to be able to access devices in your home and use PF sense as an exit node before I close this video out I just want to address the PF sense firewall rules so um, for example, PF Sense has got a tailnet address of 195.25.4 in this case. Uh, and my phone had 176.102.54. So if I wanted to be able to access PF Sense from my phone by putting this address in, and I've not exposed the LAN to be able to access it that way, uh, it's not going to work because of the firewall rules. Now, PF Sense firewall rules literally only apply to Tailscale itself. So if we go into firewall rules 
then we'll go to tail scale. We want to add a rule. We want to pass on tail scale um, IPv4. We can set it to IPv4, IPv6. Any, 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 and just allow Tailnet devices to access PFSense web interface. Probably wouldn't recommend you do that. Um, but if you need to do it, that's an option. And then apply the changes, and that will basically allow you to access the web interface from your of this PF sense from your Tailnet. I do hope that I've covered this tutorial well enough for you. If you did find it useful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.